Hello and welcome back to another edition of Eternal Evolution with Akbar the Buffmaster. What you're looking at here is an official challenge to master styles at Inside Gaming. What is the challenge? Very simple. Who can advance farther in Exotic Expedition? His will, or what he says, great white account in content creator benefit, or my free to play account, no benefits. <laughs> So, this is the challenge. Who will win? Who, who? Let's find out. Okay, so we're starting off here nice and easy. Week 11. Uh, some different changes that I made going into this exotic expedition. First and foremost, I wanted to save as many heroes as possible for the week 12. The first boss on week 12 with all the summoners. This, this version, but week 12. And the reason being is this is an extremely difficult fight for me. Even at 11, uh, week 10, I have to be careful. At a week 11, you're going to see that it's extremely close. It's always extremely close down to the last second. Because I only have basically these three energy heroes. And they are immortal zero. Not one of them have higher evolutions. Maybe to give me an extra boost. So... I don't have tech, I don't have a sin, and so this is what I have. This is my bottleneck more than anything. If I could just one shot this, I could go a lot further, I feel. But it is what it is. Again, as free to play, we, we can't have all the heroes, whereas Master Style does. You see Master Style's uh, EX30 every hero when it comes out day one. You see him uh, Awaken 5, Awaken 7 on day one so he has those resources not only does he invest quite a bit of money into the game but also he gets the benefits of content uh, uh, creator or at least I assume that he does so this is the big challenge you see here my time is so extremely close so I'm pausing and waiting I actually thought for a second because I was having a little bit of a uh, problem with lag I thought for ju just a second here that it didn't pause and that I lost the fight. You know how at the end of a fight when you lose there's a slight pause before you get the victory or defeat sign. And so I was like, oh no. But <laughs> we got it done. I thought I just blew it right off the bat. Here, this is my easiest fight. I know a lot of people struggle on Pandy. But fortunately, uh, my hunters are in a good, good place right now. And you're going to see that here in just a little bit. I mentioned that I wanted to save as many heroes as possible. I only selected 13 heroes okay in this because I wanted to see which heroes I would most that would most benefit me when I got to week 12 this an easy clear plenty of time to spare vanguards is going to be mostly the same the only thing I'm doing here is I want to make sure I don't use up ultimates for nothing at the end so I have those going into week 12 if I were to happen to get there so just going over there briefly on my vanguard builds if you want to pause and take a look at those and we'll get into the fight here in just a second so again I was pretty nervous I had already challenged and beaten Kilua who is the biggest the biggest fish in the sea at the moment on my server uh, although there are some others that are starting to really come on strong, like Crown Weather. And so, but with Master Styles, knowing uh, that his pocketbook, well, I guess his pocketbook is probably about the same as Kilwa. The difference is the content creator benefits. And so, and being on YouTube, uh, you get to see exactly what his heroes are. So, I know. Or I knew going into this that this was going to be a very stiff top competition. And really, come on, Master. Really, you should beat me. You know that, bro. So, but I give it, I give it my best effort. And why I am able to kill. Ah, so here's the thing. You see here, I did not even choose any, any assassins. I just went hunters. And uh, previously I discovered that my hunters did more damage on this guy than my sins did. 
So I wanted to try to see if I could one shot without choosing any sins as my assassins don't do hardly any damage at all to the summoners as they just die pretty quickly. I don't have the AOE summoners. I don't have Caraxia built. I don't have Asuka. I don't have uh, Sam Weld built. I don't have any of those people. So if I had those, they would be able to do decently well against the summoners. But Dom, Moto, and Rick are not the best combination to to go against those. So easy clear. Bam! That was a really difficult fight for me with my assassins. So now coming in here, coming in here, this is week 12. Massa Styles had already sent me a screenshot that he was on week 12. So I was thinking, oh my goodness, knowing he has Tech Immortal EX30, knowing he has Shen EX30, and I just have these three energy heroes that I struggle even to get past 11. So I'm like, what in the world can I do? I asked on Discord. I went on YouTube. I really dug in to see <laughs> if I could find any solutions. And no. Either people get wiped out or they're able to basically one-shot it because their energy heroes are so strong. Right? This is what you see with Red and a couple other content creators out there. They get past this, but only because their energy heroes are so strong. I have yet to see anyone come up uh, with a viable solution that is able to get off a big chunk of percentage from these guys that is not energy. So the first thing I do is I bring in my summoners. I've already tried tanks in the past. I know that doesn't work. I already know that from previous experience that my sins get blown up. So I like, well, okay, I'll try my summoners. They can't be any worse than the others and that's the first thing that I bring in now my summoners don't do great I did try this so many times uh, but I just couldn't do it I think my first my first effort was actually my best he was getting it got down to close to 80 percent and I thought it was always going to to be like that and I wanted to so I reset and to try a different formation and <laughs> I never got it that low again. So this is the next lowest that I got it down to, which you, you are going to see here, which is like 85, 86%. Okay, so a long way to go. I wanted to preserve my hunters. I did not want to bring in my hunters at all because I know, I feel, I feel anyhow, that I could get past Panda with my hunters if only I could get there. I did not want to bring in vanguards if I didn't have to because if I get past Panda, <laughs> then I want my, uh, yeah, it's time to sleep. <laughs> then uh, I was tired too, man. I was really struggling. I was like, but I don't, I don't want to let today pass because the next day I'm going to be really busy. Right now everything is quiet, so I'm going to give it the best effort that I can. So I stayed up past my bedtime. <laughs> Uh, so anyhow, I wanted to preserve my vanguards too because if I made it past this and I had my hunters, I felt I was going to make it past Bande, and if I made it past Bande, then I felt that I was going to be able to go, do good work on vanguard. What you're seeing here is I'm trying to time Nord's ult to save him from the gator. I'm the gator more than anything. Now I feel <laughs> I bought, I waited just a, a half second too long. That gator comes out so fast, and I was trying to time each ultimate for whenever Amat did the gator. I succeeded for a little while. That was the, the lowest or the best that I had done for a while, so I went ahead and let it go through. And now you see, well, uh, I don't have any choice left to just go ahead and use up all the heroes that I have left. So in the end, this was about this was the best that I've ever done. My previous personal best was getting it down to 53%. So we certainly did advance. I don't see any way I'm going to do better until I strengthen my energy team. But I'm really holding out. I know tech is really good. I know that. But I'm, I'm holding out knowing that at some point they're, 
<laughs> at some point they're going to awaken an energy hero and I want that hero uh, to to enter my lineup so as a free to play I have to manage resources if I invest in tech maybe I don't have the resources to invest in that awakened energy hero because depending on who it is I may not have that hero uh, immortal I don't have Ravenna I don't have Luke built and I don't have a lot of people built I did bring in Ravenna at some point here uh, because it was a recommendation of a guildmate but my Ravenna stinks but I really didn't have any other options okay so what are we looking at here the sweet sounds of victory getting it down to 17 percent i don't know what master got master styles got it down to because he didn't say but i am once again the exotic expedition champion reigning supreme so are there any other challengers out there maybe a will a kraken even let's set up some sort of stipulations if you are a kraken <laughs> to make it a fair fight okay but thank you guys for watching. Master, thank you for accepting the challenge. And why am I able to compete with these guys? Basically, it is because I am meticulous with my gear. Right? I give a lot of attention to my gear in my builds. And this helps me to compete even with spenders out there. So you guys can do it too. Follow me on YouTube and check out how I build, and how I manage my inventory, how I manage my ticket and my resources. Okay, so that you two compete with the big dogs. Thank you all very much. Have a beautiful day. And until next time, ciao for now.